also damit es keine Missverständnisse gibt, ich mache schon auch sehr gerne Sport. Das doch. Ich, hab, ich bin ein leidenschaftlicher Sportler. Ich habe da wirklich riesigen Spaß dran, mache das und mache wahnsinnig gerne Sport, aber eben meinen Körper nicht. Auch so neunmal klug. Also er sagt dann auch so Sätze wie, nö, nö, mach du mal deinen Sport, ich bleib hier liegen. Horst Evers, das Brot von gestern. Translated into English by me. Yesterday's bread. Friday morning, I run around the apartment looking for my beanie. I don't want to go out without my beanie. It's far too windy. I'd catch a cold. But damned, where is it? Ah, this searching and rummaging is not going to work. I sit down at the computer and Google for the beanie and bang, there it is. The Google link takes me to YouTube and with a few clicks I'm on my own video stream. Since I always film myself coming home and then immediately upload the little movie on YouTube, I save a lot of time. Time that I used to spend looking for my beanie, scarves, keys, umbrella or shoes. The next morning I simply watch my YouTube stream of coming home on YouTube and boom, I can see exactly where I've thrown everything. I used to search for everything all the time, but now I can live just as simply, beautifully and uncomplicatedly as everyone else. This YouTube is great. I can understand why Google paid 1.6 billion dollars for it. I would have done it too. Ah, but I missed the moment. Oh no. I didn't even have my beanie on when I got home. I must have left it in the pub. But which one? Ah, modern technology doesn't always help you like that. At some point it reaches its limits. I'll have to use the old search engine again tonight and look through all the pubs. Dates, dates. But now there has to be another way. I put the camcorder bag on my head and set off. The bakery has changed somehow. That's right, it's suddenly no longer called Tasty Bag, but Excellent Bag. Well, they have confidence. But it also seems to be paying off. There are three people ahead of me in the queue. And the sales clerk is brand new too. The man at the front is giving her her first serious test. Good afternoon. I would like to pre-order a loaf of yesterday's bread for tomorrow. You want what? To pre-order yesterday's bread for tomorrow. Uh, that's not possible. Tomorrow's bread from yesterday is already here today. You can't order it in advance. But tomorrow today's bread will only cost half the price because it's from yesterday. Yes. Well, that's what I want. But that's not possible. There is no bread today that will be yesterday's bread tomorrow. Yes, it's back there. What? Well, the bread that will be yesterday's tomorrow back there. Yes, but it's from today. Exactly. That's why I want to order it in advance. Then it's only half the price. Yes, yes, but that's not possible. You can't pre-order yesterday's bread. How do you imagine that would work? If everyone did that, where would I store all the bread? I don't have the space here. Hmm, the storage space is a problem. Yes, exactly. I need the space for tomorrow's bread. Well, if that's the whole problem. I'll just order yesterday's bread for tomorrow, but I'll take it with me today. The sales clerk stares at him. Then she stares at the queue, which has now grown almost to the sidewalk. With empty eyes she grabs the bread, collects half the price and looks at the next one. Please. I'd like to pre-order six rolls from yesterday for tomorrow. The bakery worker's expression becomes even emptier. This time she has already dispensed with the dialogue and then it's my turn. 
The sales clerk asked me if I'm wearing a camcorder bag on my head. I say, yes, why? Well, because, ah, never mind. She pushes four croissants over to me and mumbles, it's okay, that's right. I don't think the sales clerk will be working in our bakery for long.